Greetings, Mythics. How are we all? Hopefully you've had a lovely, lovely couple of sound drunk. A lovely couple of weeks. We're back. We're back there. Yes, I've had a bit of time off, which was lovely. I went on holiday down to Devon. And I also went to the UK Games Expo up in Birmingham. Because I was down in Devon. <laughs> You can probably tell right now, I'm in between. Anyway, I'm Ken Boyter, but you probably already know that if you have watched Edward Tales previously. Oh, that's probably going to make people sick if I keep doing that. <laughs> Hello, Martha. Martha's very tired. She's got a swollen hand due to a thistle sting. Ouch. Ouch. I know how painful they can be. I remember as a kid sitting on a thistle. Uh, I've never moved so quickly. So, it's been two weeks. Um, I, and I'm trying to work out what I'm doing. Oh, that's right. I'm by this cave. I've just been into this cave. Try the Mont Service lair with a skirt grain or a dancing star bomb. Yeah, however. Why couldn't we do it? It was because it was up high, and I couldn't get up high. So what was I going to do? I faced Garrett this way. Because he was, I was going to do something? <laughs> I can't remember. Can anyone remember? Can't you suggest a level 10? Oh, I'm on a level 10. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what I figured out. Look, suggested level 8. I'm only on 7. Yeah, see what the counterfeit bastard's brother-in-law needs. Take the hunter name. Talk to the hunter. Maybe I should be doing these. To level up. Although these are six, so maybe I should need to sort this out. Investigate the remaining leads. Oh, I've not done that. <laughs> Got a little bit sidetracked. You went to find the shrine that marks the start of the Trail of Treats. Okay. Let's see. Where am I? I'm here. Okay. Is there anything mar marked? Oh, that's all the way over here. All right. Well, I like the I like the sound of trail tri what trial of treats? Or is that trail? Good evening, Jam. How are you? Martha, sadly no, I'm currently making a dog monster for d, d I like the sound of that. Who doesn't like the sound of a dog monster? So yeah, I've had a I've had a really good week. No, two weeks. Yeah, so this would have been two weeks. Um and I'm still tired. So you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Right, so I think what we're going to do is switch. We're going to we're going to do the ladies of the wood. Now that I've cottoned on that, oh. I've forgot. I've forgotten all my moves. Yeah, so it was here. That, that monster was but we couldn't bomb it so maybe there's something that we need to do come on horsey roach I 
we've got all the buttons. Let's go. Let's go indeed. We're just gonna go this way. Have a look at the map. Okay, uh, we need to get to a bear. So it's probably best that we do follow a trail. Okay, so when we keep going, we'll get this trail here and we'll go along this way. And then we can go down that way. Sound like a pan? Sounds like a pan. Yeah. Here we go, now we're on the trail. Yeah, so a lovely holiday down in Devon with Sally and her extended family, which was lovely. And then we did UK Games Expo, which you probably saw. The photographs on the Edratel's Facebook group. So that was very, very exciting. Better not thunder into this village. Not one of the parents, then, are you? No. Oh no. Although we have helped the barrel. Let's just respectfully walk through here. I think we'll lead them to it, if they want to knock seven bells out of each other, they can do. Fast okay. Let's go. Yeah, so UK Games was excellent. I will talk more in depth about it tomorrow at the Edra Scrolls Ramblings of a Storyteller, which I am actually going to change its time for tomorrow only because I have a, a video call with my son who lives in Australia <laughs> and that was about the only time we could get oh hello um, where it all coincides so I'm going to be changing the video stream to 12pm UK time that's when I'll be doing the Ed for Scrolls and I'll be talking about oh, out of the way. Oh, it's all kicking off. <laughs> I didn't draw my sword there. That was just automatically done for me, yeah, and he put it back again. Oh, oh. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Sorry, Roach. Sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away. Yeah, so I'll talk about more about the Cookie Crown tomorrow. Um, because it was a lot of fun. It was really good. Um, I just saw a small dog with three heads. It was a Jack Cherubusel. <laughs> you might not want to meet it, but the dog has... Oh, okay, here we go. 17 strength. 15 dexterity, 12... What's con again? I've forgotten what con is. 11 initiative, no, is that? No, 11 in intelligence, 12 wisdom, and 13 charisma. I'm contemplating making the wise and initiative higher. You need to be inside and aim up, if I recall correctly. You need to be inside. Oh, I see. Oh, is that what you do? Well, that's what I've been trying to do, though. That's what I've been trying to do. I did that, and I haven't got many bombs, though. So maybe I could just sit, sort of save it, and then do it, and if it fails, just go back to the save. Maybe I should do that. Okay, we'll try that again. I tried that lots, because maybe I just didn't get it correct. You can, you can take that griffin head soon. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, the griffin head actually does... Uh, it gives me extra stats. Our intelligence wizard will make it very trainable. Oh, constitution, and that's the one, Martha. Yeah, thank you. I'm basing it on the dog monster of the Hound of the Baskervilles. Oh, nice. Sounds great. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played D&D. I, I did get into it. Um, I first played it with my family, my brother and a couple of mates. Um, his fiance. whoa, what the hell is this? This doesn't look creepy at all, does it? Um, oh, oh, it's right here. Oh, we are actually here. Okay. Okay. Use your witch to find the shrine. Well, I think we found it. <laughs> don't think you need your witcher senses. Okay. Yeah, and then I played it with some mates um, for about a year and a half, maybe two years every Friday evening. And that was a lot of fun. Okay. Right. This is very creepy, isn't it? So, Jam, you've played The Witcher, haven't you, then? Oh, so you're just seeing me stumble around. <laughs> but that's what we're looking for. Oh, look, there it is. Some sort of nest. Oh, this is creepy. Yeah, find, find that. I'm going to leave Roach out of this. Follow the trail using your sink. Yeah. I feel like I'm following it to my doom. <laughs> Follow the trail until you are attacked by the witches. The crones. Although that must have been something else then. That would have just been a monster nest then. Okay. Hmm. What was that? Am I being lured off by loot? Oof. Florins are very helpful. Right. I'm not liking this. This is really creepy. Reminds me of Skyrim. Where you've got the bulks like this and then you've got those massive centipede type creatures that just come out and attack you. Okay. This must be it then. This is... yeah. This is, must be where they are. Yeah, look. Here we go. You old crone. went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the butt. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the winter bench, the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Oh, are these the crones? Ever seen a one around here? A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. <laughs> I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lassies in the woods. They dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> That's brilliant. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. 
but there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? <laughs> no one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You'll be betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You've seen the woman or haven't you? Oh, I didn't fear mean... Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Gran. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. Go on now. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go. Be gone. Oh, I thought he meant he was going to listen to her story. Rather than, I didn't mean to be aggressive there. Misunderstood what that meant. What's a stranger doing here? Okay, go to the hut and talk to the boy. Oh, okay. Is he in here? Is it Johnny? Oh, which which heart are you going in? No. Okay, so there's another so Johnny must be in here. Right, I'm coming in. Whether you like it or not. Oh. Oh there he is. No, that's Trabuk. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Oh, find a way to look Gran. Oh, oh, to lure Gran away from the heart. <laughs> find a way to lure I, it, this is I'm doing it with the best intentions but <laughs> why don't you want to talk about Johnny one of you knows about him the others must too it's just him who's pals with Johnny they pick mushrooms and hunt snails but Gran <laughs> says Johnny's made up if I recall, it was Sarved which reset its primal instincts to hunt and kill to survive. Yes, that's what happened with the Hand of the Baskervilles. But it was on the moors, wasn't it? So it sounded really eerie because it would howl. Help me out. Have you ever seen Johnny? Can I never hurt you? The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. <laughs> but yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods. And then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. <laughs> the girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right. But you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Oh, I want something sweet. And me too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never Yay. eaten nothing like this before in my life. Yay. What was it? A couple of Mars bars is... Gran! Oh. Gran! Bumble 
will be bit Yagner in the arse. Gran, come. <laughs> this feels all sorts of wrong, doesn't it? However, we're doing it for a good reason. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. The bumblebait. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be a boy. Because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ash and hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. It's really Thank good. You. No wonder it won awards. The, the voice acting is really good in this. And I think that does make a big difference. I mean, Skyrim's good, but, you know, they're limited on the amount of actors that they use. <laughs> They're limited on the amount of actors that they used. Where am I meant to be going? Yeah. Um, and not quite as good the actual voices. Right, I'm going to save it here because this I can see something. <laughs> I can see something up ahead. Which looks a bit horrible. No, is that Johnny? It's like Gollum. Oh no, hang on. Alright. I've forgotten. Um. Okay. They're coming at me, they're coming at me. Find Johnny's footprints. Oh, if I just killed Johnny. <laughs> no, come on, Johnny. Uh, I've killed Johnny. Oh, I think I have. That's a joke. They started attacking me though. <laughs> that is my defense. That can't be Johnny. Oh, examine, right, there we go. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Good. I've not killed him. That almost, that almost defense. Offered the Witcher. I like the Moors. Roger Moore. If I recall, it was. Oh, yeah. My name is Bond. James Bond. That's my Roger Moore impression. Whoa. Actually, hang on, look at me. I've, um... I've nearly, I'm nearly dead. That's not good. I 
expecting that. There's one behind me as well. Alright, cool, so in the boglands. We're in the boglands. I sort of want to just wait here, really. So I heal up. I think the, the levelling up, what I'm going to concentrate on. Oh, I didn't see that little monkey come at me. Is healing up quicker because I think I had powered that up previously and I can notice it goes up quicker now which is good. Thanks for joining me again guys, it's nice to be back. Really appreciate it. So as I say, tomorrow's live stream is going to be from 12 p.m. as in midday, 12 midday UK time. So I think that's 1 p.m. for you Marpo if you're interested. Um, Oh, don't tell me Johnny's... Is that Johnny? No, that can't be Johnny. I don't like the looks of this. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about UK Games Expo. That'll probably be the most we're going to talk about. And what else we're talking about? We're going to obviously be talking about other projects now that I'm working on. And I've just started working on a new card game. So now I'll tell you all about that, which is exciting. Right. Oh. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. He's in a little burrow. Probably a little boy. Save game. Reminds me of. Did anyone read or watch the TV adaptation of Stig of the Dump, which was great? Where there was a boy called Stig who lived in a dump. <laughs> and nobody believed him. There was a friend, you know, who he. There was a kid, you know, that you identify with who goes to school. And he used to go and play with Stig of the dump, and nobody Don't believed be him. At least I went to wake up early for your stream. Yes, absolutely. You yes. Are <laughs> Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. Oh. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? She told... We can't not... What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Oh. Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Oh, what a cool character. Right, back up to strength. There's little Johnny, look at Johnny. Look at Johnny legging it. Look at him go. Come on, little Johnny. Go. Go, Johnny. Go, go, go. Oh. He's, he's running away from them. Johnny. What's he doing? Is, oh, defeat the monsters, right. Got to keep my eye out. Where are they? There they are. He was frightened. Where's he gone? Stay close to me. Yeah. But I will put this away because I might 
might forget how to use the controls and slice you in two. Jump. Not on purpose, you understand? Just through my incompetency. <laughs> Johnny's on the move, look at him go! Stay close to me. More like I'm staying close to you. He's a quick little mover, isn't he? He's kind of cute, he's yeah, nice. exactly. I feel sorry for him as well. He's, he's sort of a creature, isn't he? Something's on the ledge. Something mm -hmm. that'll get you your voice back. Oh, don't tell me it's his tongue. Guess I gotta make this climb. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save it here because I can see myself falling to a grisly death. Okay, we're gonna make the climb. How do we climb? Jump. That how you do it? Whoa. How do we do it? I'm not being smart about this, am I? Here we go. Oh, B is jump. Right. Oh, oh, come on, we did it, we did it, no we didn't, no, 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 we down there, come on, <laughs> right, that looks like an easy path, come on, I like it, it's pretty cool, should I just go around here, let's just go around here, it's much easier, just no, we've got a bloody waterfall, right. Uh, is that easy? It kind of feels easier. Here we go. I used my smarts instead. I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is happening? Oh my god. What are these? They're half pigs. Oh, I wasted that one. Oh, how cool is how cool were they? Half is a cool. Dangerous but cool. How cool is that? Okay, let's just save that again. A sheer drop, yeah, if a centipede, how much did, <laughs> did a precipice? <laughs> Goldling are rare friendly monsters in The Witcher. Ah, okay, cool. Right, so what loot? Sealed bottle. Maybe you read this bottle. Ravens, right, give bottle to Johnny. Johnny. I'm sorry. Do we just do we just slide down? <laughs> Look at that. Hello Johnny. That looked pretty cool, didn't yeah. it? Oh, it looks like there's a lot of lag going on. Am I am I out of sequence? Is my voice ahead of what you're seeing on the screen? Let Whiskey, me know. Slither, ringworm, rubbish, bumblebee, flabbergasted. <laughs> the sound of it. Peter Piper, Pit, Prince Proximo, a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favourite words. Life without savouring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a clock. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favours? <laughs> I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. As soon as I woke, I went 
to empty my barrels. Defecate into the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly heard a bang. So loud it couldn't have been me. And that last appeared. Out of nowhere. Young ashen haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. <laughs> she ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, but my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Yay! On the move again, this time slightly slower. Oh, now a bit quicker. He's. <laughs> I love the way he runs. <laughs> that is genius. Oh god, right, here we go. One more. What's he doing? I'm a little party. Oh, I missed him. Right. He's got a split personality. Just like that one. Okay. Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Where are you, where are you taking me? Back to the old crone. No, to the old woman. So we still haven't seen the crones then. Avoid the gas though, because that harms us, doesn't it? Yeah, the orphans of like new marker. Okay, that's cool. New marker. Means we can find it on the map. I might just need those. You never know. Come on, Johnny. Good. Good. But it's lagging on my end. Oh, okay. I think the video is sometimes like on my end. Oh, cool. My internet provides to try and sort things out. It, yeah, I'm not sure because I'm. I... Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Hop, a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. Got him. Got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall <laughs> look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. Aww. It's not good for you. You son of a... The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran. This fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I didn't ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His <laughs> lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Really Come good acting. Me. Really good acting. And really good characterization for the characters, aren't they? They're all very unique. No wonder I am, yeah. The more I play this, the more I'm impressed. The other thing that only happens when you're streaming the game and not in your videos. Yeah, so it's probably to do with streaming the game, Martha. I wouldn't worry about calling your internet provider. 
foul creature that I say. Because it's having to, you know, the, the women cope the with playing a video. It's on the Xbox, not the PC. Oh, look, there they are. white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Oh, well. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. Oh, all right. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Oh. Um, why do I need a dagger? Dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll eat with all. Okay. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. <laughs> How cool is this? Really compelling stories, quests. Oh, mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Whoa, look at that thing. That's amazing. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Stone nose, stone ears. Talk to me. All oh, right, okay. Thank you. We've got 150 experience points. Um. Yeah. So we're now we're on level eight. We've got two points available, right? What should we do? So yes, the lag. There is a lag. I thought it was unique, then I turned 48. So now I'm antique. There it is. But still a great writer, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I think the reason why I lag is because I'm streaming this through my xbox one whereas when i stream all the other streams they're through my phone so there's no extra sort of thing i have to go through right so i've just paused this for a while or left it on here just so that you know, hopefully you'll catch up right yeah, health.
Yeah, what's that one? Signs. Core ability. Is that to do with health? Survive and increase the maximum vitality. Yeah, this one's the health, isn't it? Yeah, there's so much. It's all a bit complicated for me, really. <laughs> Increases maximum vitality by 15%. Each piece of lime increases critical hit damage. Each piece of min at medium increases sign intensity by five. That's good. Each piece of hemi hemi increases maximum toxicity by thirty. That's probably good. Um, yeah, a lot of this you're kind of not one hundred percent sure how it works. If your current stamina level is too low, signs can be cast. Okay. Crossbow is still 24 more damage. That's good. If available, general points will consume to reduce toxicity. You can shoot one additional bolt before you must reload. That's handy. Damage don't generate one point of general points. Instead of a battle trance, increase critical hit. Bomb damage is tripled but the number of bombs in slots is decreased by half this to know which deals damage hmm i do quite like the idea of the bolts though what does this all do increase the potion over days oil applied to blades I'm well aiming bombs. Oh, it's it. There's so much choice. Increasing. Oh, average range. Oh, and that's pretty good. Hmm. Increasing to a number of return damage. Push your points back when it breaks. Target does not move towards going one casting, it's also increased effective as in dialogue. Oh, I don't know, I've got two. What, what one shall I do then? Um, what about the story spark cards? Uh, sorry, what do you mean about the story spark cards, Martha? Did I miss a, an extra bit of that to that question? Um, You've got yours, haven't you, Martha? Is that what you mean? Uh, can you be a bit more specific? What I do now need, I can concentrate now on giving the course, the short story course using the Story Spark cards online, um, which I do need to contact people about um, because I've just been so busy, I just knew I wouldn't be able to fit it in. So I will be contacting people about that, if that's what you mean. Oh, the next card in the series, and yes, I have them all. Brilliant. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you got yours. Yeah, what are the next cards in the series? I quite like the idea of spells. That's pretty cool, because um, we've got magical objects, and you can have specifically spells to sort of complement that. Or we could go, you know, in a completely different direction and do food and drink, you know. And create some really cool sounding food like the scale drakes uh, scale drake snacks um, what we're we gonna do what we've we got here deflect as power power ring time slow that's pretty cool takes damage is lowered by thirty three points What's the sign that I normally use? Hang on. What have I got loaded up? How do I know which one I've loaded up? Hmm. Right, let's go outside so I don't cause any damage. 
Or I don't kill anyone while I try to work stuff out. Right. What was that then? Uh. See, how do I know which one is loaded up? Select. Okay, so it's not that one. Okay, it's not that one. Okay, so... It is that one. Igni Igna. So presumably that means like ig Ignite. That's the other thing, is memorising what those are. I haven't really done that. Um, so we want something that does... That does ignite an exploding shield. Target does not move while, while Joe is casting and it's also in Crucifix of Exit Dialogues. Ah, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, well, one thing I did know, actually, let's put in... You can shoot one additional bolt. That's pretty cool. Okay, acquire ability. I don't know what adrenaline points are, actually. Hmm. Crossbow deals... Well, let's just do that. So, I couldn't see anything that directly helped with uh, uh, select. I thought I was. I thought I could load two before I had to redo it. That wasn't true. They lied to me. There's no difference. Hmm. Okay, we've well, done it now. Talk to the element of wherever. Where is he? He's over here, not too far. No. I'm trying to do the crossbow, but... Clearly not the one to go for. <laughs> right. Yeah, it does take a while to... Yeah, I didn't really see any difference there. What was that? It's an old car test. You want some?
Right, so that was pretty much self-defense because I was just running past. So, you know, if that's what you're up to, you really do only have yourself to blame. I so wasn't looking for a fight. I'll take it. I'm going to take your pipe as well, mate. And I'm going to smoke it. Hmm. So what were they looting then? I thought there was four of them. Was there three of them or four of them? What were they looting? Anything? Yeah. It did say loot, didn't it? These diagrams, not really looked into those. Okay, well that was fun. into the older man, aren't we? Greetings. Mine came for a few minutes late. Odd, I can no longer notify when you're live. Oh, there you go, sorry. Taverns and spells, the next gun series. Taverns or spells, yeah, taverns is quite cool, isn't it? I have ideas for all of them, just watch. <laughs> Out. I'll take one that's most useful. Take the one that is most useful. Fire. Odd. I no longer get notifications when you're alive. And yours came a few minutes late. It's interesting, isn't it? It might be because I was already on the page waiting. It could have been Martha. Yeah, that's a good point. Nice village. It could have All been because right. it knew you were Pearl watching the then. If you say so. You get by alright? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? My master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is there. Excuse me. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hmm. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power, an evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, mm -hmm. and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. Mm -hmm. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A 
squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth mm -hmm. turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Well, look the ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the whispering hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. No, absolutely not. <laughs> it seems like a... Oh, hello. Looks like rain. Great. Nice to have a bit of rain though, cool the situation down, cool everything down. Should we, should we get old, um, old Roach in on the action? Where are you Roach? There we go. gonna be scared. Sorry Roach, didn't mean to put you through that. Run, Roach. Let's go. Oh. You okay? It's alright, don't worry, I've I've got you. Let's just take it a little bit slowly. Just so we can get back onto a path. Go, go. There we go. Ruin Tower. Giddy up. Ah, hmm. No, I've not been here before yet. Um, here we go then. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I think I'm going to leave Roach here. Come no closer. I know whence you come. <laughs> it's not creepy at all, is it? The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Let's save that. I should have saved that. You cannot save your game right now. Save it now. Yeah. It's only mid attack, I guess. The next big town by Blinkers, that way Roach doesn't panic. Yeah. That's a good call. Martha, put some Blinkers on Roach. Yeah, because she or he <laughs> um, really panics. Sort of straight away, which is definitely understandable. This way, nearby. This is weird, isn't it? 
I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. Find out what's killing. Yeah, we don't know yet. So Jam, have you have you played The Witcher quite extensively then? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It must be something in the tree. Yeah, there you go. The tree man. Find passages from leading under the hill using your witch's scent. Mm, look at that. Under the tunnel. Ah, I think something's sneaking up behind me. So, under the tunnel. Is there a way around here? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a wolf that I killed. Oh. <laughs> Thought something was coming at me, but it was just a branch from a different tree. Is it under there? Do we get in under there? Hmm. I do like it when it's not particularly obvious. It's that way you kind of have to work it out. And then you go, oh yeah, that's the one. Go back there, there was something there. Oh, okay. Oh, you've not played Witcher? Oh, okay. Ah. I thought you had. That's how you were kind of, <laughs> you've just got a good memory. Because you mentioned earlier, and I went, oh yeah, that's how you do it. You just either worked it out because you're clever, or you've got a good memory and you could you remembered what we were going to do. Oh, it was throwing that thing. What is it that you saw? So what's that? Oh look, the trail is leading me. Oh, to the cave. What the hell? The powers will not relent. The werewolf master. We have a werewolf. My giddy arm. Oh, Mr. Regenerating. How does he keep regenerating? How does he keep regenerating? We're in trouble, guys. Right. Look at look at the tree closer. Okay. Okay. So hopefully the save will take me back to the tree without the werewolf but I also think the path seemed to lead away into the entrance there seemed to be a cave nearby so that might have something to do with it
so hopefully yeah so i think the entrance is via the cave but yeah we'll have a look on the tree i couldn't see anything there yeah so interesting enough so your voice is hearing me now my loading bar where it says loading is actually three quarters full whereas yours is only a quarter full so there is a bit of a lag so i wonder why that is yeah so you see the white trail on the map on the top right you know the white dots that's leading me to the cave oh are you saying the signpost Where's that signpost? Which one is it? Is it this one? Ah, f oh no, that's fast track. Ah, okay, so you can fast track to places. But if you look, yeah. It's down here. I think the entrance is down here. There's my horse, and if you th if you look, yeah, there's a cave entrance. Just there. Yeah, so that, that circle there, the white circle. Mm, magic, a place of power. And look, there's a stone. Let's save it here then. Right. And then, yeah, look. I'm going to get attacked. So there's the entrance down there, isn't it? Yeah. Just doing a bit of scouting. Scouting it out. But I don't know if you can hear that, the music in the background is like, repeating like a, um, like my heartbeat. And now it's fading away, so the closer I get there, the more the heartbeat is going. Yeah, look, there he is. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on. Run away. I've just figured something out. That sword... That sword that I was given as a mark, the dagger... Do you think that's solid silver? Yeah, look. Item needed to complete a quest. Can I equip that? Right, I'll unquip that. Bremervord blade. And then, ah, oh, it's not a weapon though, is it? No, it's not letting me. Ah, oh, I thought that was... I thought I'd cottoned on to something there. Oh, but I've got a silver sword anyway. So the silver... Because I was thinking, oh, it's silver. But I've already got a silver sword. Okay, forget that. <laughs> that 
didn't work. Okay. So we want the silver one. But this dude, he, he replenishes all the gold. Very good at See look he's Oh my god he's good. Oh look I <laughs> went under his legs. That was hilarious. So he but he scarpers off. Because he's healing up. So I've got to somehow. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I've got to somehow trap him in there. Any suggestions? Throw a stick in my chase after it. Beware the moon, stick to the roads, stay off the moors. Beware the moon, stick to the roads, stay off the moors. God be with you. Throw a stick, it might chase after it. Right. I'm just going to go somewhere while this loads. I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back in the room. <laughs> Just had to c take care of some business. Right, so... Let's have a look at the signs again. No, uh, what does that do? It'd be good to... Connect, okay. Influence the opponent's minds. Protective shield. A magic trap. Okay, let's do that one. Because if I can trap him in it, then he might not be able to to move, and then I can fire bolts at him, and then he won't be able to replenish. There he is. Is he trapped? No. The powers will not relent. That didn't work, did it? Okay, is he trapped? No. <laughs> He's too powerful. Come on. Done him. I've done him. Right. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. 
So was that a new quest? Was that a new quest? Let me save it. Did I just stumble on a new quest? I think I just stumbled on a new quest. Fake to what an invitation. Oh, the whisper find the voice. Ah. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Not happy, is he? Mm. We got magic. A place of power. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a cave just up there. What do you think is back at the tree, Martha? Hold to draw. Oh, I've won a one. Holy moly, that was worth it. Right, let's spend that pup. Who's up for that? How do we do that? Character? Um, strong attack damage increased by 10. That's pretty cool. Fast attack increased by 10. That's pretty cool. Deflect arrows while parrying. That's pretty cool. Time slowed by additional crossbow. Draining points. Taking damage slowed by 33%. Oh, adrenaline points is health. Right. Adrenaline points loss upon taking them is lower by... Well, let's put... Let's spend that there then, can we? Right. Yeah, sometimes it's cool coming out with your own names for various health and strength and all that, but sometimes you can be too clever. There we go, health. Nice one, Martha. Fetch with a grenade. Yeah, use bomb on the werewolf. Yeah, I think it was just speed because I didn't let him run away, and um, and then and just power up, you know, and heal. So it was just it was just the quickness of the hand. Okay, I've got that wrong then. I've just... finally the voice is coming from your senses. I think we know where it's coming from, don't we? It's, it's the tree. No, oh, maybe not. I know it's down there. Oh. Oh, it's, it's really it again. <laughs> Do we get one ability point? No, it already knows. Can we climb up? Is it too much? It's probably too much. Like Skyrim. Skyrim, <laughs> it's quite funny because you can climb quite impossibly. Am I just climbing up to somewhere that I could just walk around that I've just been because the tree's there? I think that's the case. Okay, I should have listened to Martha earlier. <laughs> Martha's right. I could, because I couldn't see anything on the tree. But I think you're right. But then when you go here, this is really odd. But it's not there. Okay, am I being super stupid? That's really odd. Okay, so I can't really see anything on the tree. That's leading me this way. Somewhere where we've just been twice. I 
I know, why is it leading me all the way back there? So that's not really near the tree at all. Place of power, it's gotta be. So it's in there. Oh look, is that a little nook and cranny? Yes, that is. It's in here. <coughs> Holy moly, that was a difficult thing to find. Okay, we're going in. We're gonna take some take some mushrooms. We're really not like oh no, it's water. I absolutely hate the water. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. I don't like being underwater. I do not like being underwater. This is freaking me out. Right. What's that? I do not like being underwater. What is this? Okay, great, some loot. It doesn't look like it's under here though. What is that? <laughs> it's a magically magical flying rock. I'm missing it, it's not in here. Oh my god, where are we now? Why have you come? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel this blood. Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Oh. You claim I can free you. Who are you? I am that I circle. Where I kept the balance.
Bring me out of that. Actually forgotten why we're doing this. We're still trying to get information about Yennefer, but we're doing a favor and then another favor for a favor. Okay. I'll gather what I need to free you <laughs> and return. It's a quest within a quest within a quest. Feathers. Find the bones. Right. We've got the feathers. We take him right with us. All right. Go on. We need to find a steed. Black steed. And also. Oh, where is it? We've got the feathers. And his remains. Hmm. Oh, we're in the bogs again. really trap them in there, does it? I mean, I know I did miss her. Oh, she's good. Oh, look at that. Can't see. That's pretty cool. Um, let me change that. Uh, where is it? Let me change that. Do that one, the deals fire damage. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're not going to give him roach. Roach is brown anyway. Find the bones of spirit trapped beneath a whispering hillock using the witch's senses. Oh, right, yeah. Wind's howling. No. Water hag tooth, what's this? Strange bones. 
Yeah. Karma Wild Horse using the A axis sign and mount it. Ah, influences opponent's minds, right. Let's go. We can do this. I didn't mean to whistle. I don't think we'll be able to climb up there with you, Roach. We're just going to climb. Sorry, Roach. We'll be back. That sort of noise in Skyrim means that there's a dragon nearby. But I don't think it means the same thing in The Witcher. Let's eat another apple. Right, here we go. Oh, look at this. Bad, was it? Sorry, my bad. Slower. Oh, I'm left. Not going to be able to go down there, is he? We're going to go around the corner. Yeah, we don't want the horse to, to be injured. Oh, that reminded me, I thought it was going to be a bit more like Red Dead Redemption. Has anybody played that? Red, Red Dead Redemption? Really cool. Um, where you have to lasso the horses. Okay. Oh no, I guess I've got... Yeah. I go, do have to... Go. I have to walk it in, don't I? Oh yeah, this was the secret entrance. Here we go. Oh, oh, we got the horse. Please don't mention that my game is glitching out so badly. Oh, what, Red Dead Redemption? I'm a ghost thing. <laughs> I don't trust Ready. the ghost thing. We can start. Hmm. <laughs> I know. I know what you. I know what you mean, Martha. Got a Welsh accent. Trick the being in the train. Destroy it. Oh, I'm not very good at betrayal. Oh, we've got quite a lag. I'll let you catch up. Oh, Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim's glitching. Hmm, that is that is annoying. That is very annoying. Um, yeah. It's given me a chance to betray. Huh. What should, what, what should we do? Oh, maybe I should do that when I'm... Right, I'm gonna... What should I do? Not sure what the witcher said to kill it. Did they? Did they? Ah, okay, Martha. I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna kill it. I offer raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be. 
shall be free once more. You've done it. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. No, I should draw your blood now. Let the horse drink it. But I won't. I don't trust you. I have to stop you, destroy you. Betrayed. Betrayed. Oh yeah, took care of the problem, get some diamond dust and we get a horse, right let's lead the horse out. Yeah, you were right, Martha. I almost set it free. Oh, what have we got here? Oh. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Not sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. No, oh, no. Oh, no, this is turning dark. This is turning dark. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. Land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. That was a bit grim. They did. Poor horse. What sound do we do with it now? What should we do with it now? Give it grass. I think the horse is okay because we just set it free. Oh, good lord. It's gone very dark. Nope, here they are. <laughs> Sheave your weapon, young man. Real life, you're different. Well, bring it here. 
think the horse is there. Lisa Vale worries, Martha. Never <laughs> seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression we have done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part. Now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. <laughs> Thin as the rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stand before him. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. <laughs> Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. They are muffler. We should have let the ghost free. I don't know. We needed information about Yennefer. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything. Exactly as so we happened. kind of needed to do what they wanted. But maybe we're not to trust them. But we've just found Nana, the, the wife of the Baron. She's the old woman, or the woman that's looking after the kids. I think they're her kids as well. Which is a very evil as well. Regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Oh, who's that chasing after her? Right, so they're all after Yennefer. I think it's Yennefer, isn't it? <laughs> oh no! Saint. Okay. 
Okay, pull it this way. I see. My god, there's hundreds of them. Did it? We did it. So is it a lag with my voice then? Does does my voice do, do what I say match what you're watching, or am I spoiling things because I'm further ahead than you? That's what I'm worried about. However, if the voice is matching the pictures, then that's fine. I don't mind there's a little lag and you're just watching it a couple of minutes behind me or a minute behind me. So basically what's on screen now is <laughs> a blank screen. It's loading up something else after the Yenna for a bit. Sometime later, it says on screen at the moment. So if, if my voice matched what it said on the screen sometime later, then it's not lagging in terms of my voice connected to the pictures, which is fine. What I didn't want it to be was you're seeing the pictures with my current voice, so I'm in the future, <laughs> my voice in the future, spoiling things for you. You tried to kill her. Oh, it's, tried to it's her like an animal and eat her. For me, your voice in real time, the video's about four seconds lag. Oh, okay, seconds, four seconds isn't too bad then. Extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. It's not the game is lagging behind your voice. It's not the game is lagging behind your voice. Oh, okay. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You will return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander mist fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, <laughs> Oops, I meant, I meant the game is lagging behind your voice before. Oh, okay. Again, that's not too bad then. If the game is lagging four or five seconds behind my voice, it's not too bad. Whereas when I, I see I'm watching it on a laptop as well, but I'm not hearing my voice through the laptop because I want to read your comments. And I notice that my me watching it is more than four or five seconds. It's about a minute behind but that just might be the way I've connected up my laptop okay what the hell family matters so Anna so it all ties in this is crazy it all ties in what else did we receive do we get experience points and there are great points that's crazy talk, right. Well, what I think we should do, I'm curious, now that we've told the Baron, I think I'm going to tell the Baron. Um, Come on. So we'll just go back to the Baron. Oh, tell the Baron what's going on about Anna, because now we know that that was Anna. Oh, is he going to drown? I don't want my horse to drown. We're just going to. Oh, we don't have to fight them. Let's just carry on. Right, we need to get onto a path. When you got a horse, you need a path. 
Here we go. Oh, beautiful sun. Look at that. Come on. Sunrise? No, it's a sunset. Beautiful sunset. Wow, look at the colours. Faster. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't think he could. <laughs> I've got him stuck. How do I jump? Fear level. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. There was a, a little treasure chest down there. Let's just go back. I think we can fight these as well. Oh. He's a bit tricky, isn't he? It was very tricky, I don't know if that was worth it. The little rat. Oh, it's a sword. That's a bit of coin. You can sell that for a bit of coin. Alright. Go, go. Okay, we're not that far away. So, wow, so, so... Oh no, that was, yeah, that was still part of the Baron's quest, wasn't it? Finding the ladies. The crones. Wow, this game is huge, isn't it? Just like Skyrim. This must have taken years to develop. Absolutely years. I'm going the right way. I'm kind of going the wrong way. What is that? Come on. That's just a deer or something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Going the wrong way. Right. Come on, Definitely, definitely going to drown in there. That's not a little bog. Oh, no, it's someone's house. Okay, we're back on the track. That's what we like to see. We're back on track. Went to the forest for brushwood yesterday. Did you not hear that one? Oh, these are the punching people. Right. We can maybe help them at some point. More food for the rest. Brilliant. What kind of mother are ye? That is a fair question. Sending your kids into the woods, knowing that the woods are dangerous. But hey, you know, times are tough. Okay, we are getting closer and closer. We're back on track. Here we go. Lovely colours, isn't it? Really nice sunset. Okay, we're nearly there. Right. 
Run, Roach. Run, Roach. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I think I've gone the wrong way. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, because there's a broken bridge, isn't there? And a fixed bridge. Hello. It's alright, the Baron knows me. It is bigger than Skyrim. Do you think so? It might be. I mean, Skyrim is big though, isn't it? I mean, these, both these games are just huge. Not half bad. He's not scared. Baron finds out. Hey, move it. I mean the game. Yeah. I mean they're both big games, aren't they? So. But you know, you just how many quests are in here? How many bits to each quest? It's huge. Where's the Baron? Is he just sitting in the garden? Or is he in the stables? Is he in the stables? What's he doing in the stables? What is he doing? Oh no, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah, this is the stables. Oh no, it's not the stables, it is his house. Where is he? Am I going further and further away? Oh yeah, it's staying down. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's in that other bit, isn't he? Is it this bit? Yeah. Here we go. I couldn't remember this on the ground floor or the middle floor. First floor or second floor. Here we go then. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news for your wife. Flowing hell, what do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened to you? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. It should be interesting. Again, it's very nuanced, the storylines. Are you guys enjoying this? You must be. With you're, still, you're still watching. First sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. The warlord had 
risen against King Athen, and Faltis sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. Aye, ah, very good. Yes, I like hung, you too, protecting me. Oh, oh, sorry to do that, Martha. I'm not sure there's anything I can do. Although I have been promised internet upgrade. So it's one battle after the next conflict. No, light towards the life of war. I was seldom home and found comfort in drink. God, so I found. God, so fond of hooch. I couldn't part with it. When did I? When did I get out? All right. What then? Yeah. So I might be getting an upgrade to internet. Collecting soldiers' coin. Because they're laying cables. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. So that might For help with the lag. For three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay, I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cook-holded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. <laughs> Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. Mm. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet as soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Hmm. I imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me. Kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me. Goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I'd brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were a bout of hysteria with my bouts of drunkenness. Two hours, hope you're not tired, Ken. No, I'm fine, thank you, Martha, but yes, I realised that. I was just going to round this little quest off. Not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. <laughs> D 
do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. Right, yeah. So he's going to ask us if we can help. Started the page again. Oh, it's a long lag. Now, what did I last? Oh, okay. So if you, right, if you refresh the page, it's an even longer lag then. What's going on? The pen is just stupid. Yeah, he's. It landed right in front of us. Yeah. Breathe our last. Oh, Griffin. If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive. Let's show this bastard what we were. Oh, right, we're in play. What, what have we got? With this special weapon. Nothing. Get to the time rescue the Batman. This is never ending. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. <laughs> How do we get to the top of the thingy? Different ballet, ballet, ballet list to the one that is classical. Oh, she's gone in there. Held together head. Oof. <laughs> you won't play spuds with that. He was in shock, absolutely. Yeah. The 
you have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must mm -hmm. tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. Novigrad. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. Mm -hmm. I have more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. <laughs> there you are. My men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as idle shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest. The, the burn is dumb. The burn is so dumb. And what is that? I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well... He seems more beast than man, but there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. I might be on imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Mm -mm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. I'll prove a good father to her. 
thought we were going to help him. Yeah. This is a long sequence. A long, long sequence. I thought we were going to help him. No? Level 9 points, level 1. That's a bit weird, right? Let's, let's do quests. Fake papers, one at heart. Return, there it is. Meet the Baron. Right, so that's what we'll do next. Next live stream. We've got one point available. Muscle memory faster to increase by 10. Strong attack to increase by 10. Effect of powering. Time slowed. Survive increases maximum vitality by 15%. That's each piece of art increases hit damage. See, this is it. I'm not sure what adrenaline is and what stamina. Oh, stamina. Yeah, I know what stamina is. Right, okay. Uh, oh, I see. That's quite good. Then if your current stamina is level too low, signs can cost you drilling points. That's quite good. Because sometimes you have to... You have to like casting spells in Skyrim, you have to wait a little bit while your, your, I guess in this case, stamina goes past a certain threshold and then you can cast it again. So maybe that's what that is. Let's do that one. Okay. Return to Cogback. What do you seek here, Vagrant? Vagrant? <laughs> Just helped your baron. I've just helped your boss. Just helped your boss. So don't give me that. Right. So let's save it here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you like the name Embergard Ale? Ooh, I do like that name. That sounds very like a golden pale ale. Ember Guard. I think the witch is smart and doesn't want trouble with those witches. Yes, I think you're right. The um, the witcher is smarter. However, <laughs> I'm not necessarily smarter. Well, the witches did say that they were gonna that because they sort of tricked us. Didn't they? They didn't really give us any information. We only found out about Anna. So I think we're going to go back. Although, oh, they did say you will return. One will die, but it won't be any of us. Well, the Baron's going back, so it's going to be the Baron. The Baron's going to die. Fate has dictated that the Baron will die. Let's see if that holds true. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Jam. And thank you to anyone else that was just watching that didn't comment. Absolutely appreciate that. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. If you did want to comment, you do need to follow the channel. So just click the follow. And if you want to put the notifications on, you should get notified when I go live. Sometimes it's a bit glitchy. But hey, it's out of my control. The next live stream, I do three a week. I do one on Saturdays. One on Wednesdays and one on Fridays. The Saturdays ones are Edra Scrolls, Ramblings of a Storyteller. This is where we talk about creativity, fantasy, your projects, my projects. And normally it's 10 a.m. UK time. However, as a little one-off, tomorrow it's 12 midday UK time. And then the next live stream after that is going to be Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. That's where we do a game book. 
and um, I think I know which game book we're going to be doing because we're starting a fresh one. So we that's where we play through a game book, and you decide how the story unfolds. You get to choose how you know what we do during the story by leaving comments. It's as simple as that. And then every Friday, 7 p.m. UK time, we do a video game. And I've been doing The Witcher now for a good number of weeks, maybe a couple of months now, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Cheers, buddy. See you all soon. I'm away next week. Okay, nice one, Jam. Have a lovely week, and we'll see you all in the future. <laughs> Magic be with you always. All right. See you later.